Five of this church is where it's at least 20 minutes late. So um, welcome everyone. It's really nice to see you all here at Chapters Hall. Big thank you to doing that to Chapters for hosting us. I should explain, uh, well, I'll explain a few domestics. So if there's a fire, celebrate because it will get warmer. <laughs> if you need the loom, they're outside. You'll just have to see where the light is on, underneath the doors because it's just it's light. Um, now, obviously, if there is a fire, the exits are clear, but we'll go out into the car park and gather there. I should also explain this strange man, Sparks, who um, will be wandering around filming things. It's just a habit he's got, he can't help it. Um, if you really don't want to be on film, then you know, just let us know or let him know quite that. And uh, we'll, we'll probably do it more. I don't think there's any other domestic -y things to say. Really, I'm really proud of this film. It's been a long time making this film. Um, and here we are with a chance to show it to people. <coughs> so one of the things I was going to say is, for us, it's a bit like um, having a new baby. And there's a lot of parents in the room, aren't there, yeah? So you all know what that's like. You've waited a long time. Some people have waited way more than nine months because they've been trying to have a baby. But then they have a baby. And the first thing you want to do is show it off. Take it home and show it off. And in a sense, this is event number seven of our showing off the baby back home um, tour, if you like. So a lot of the films you'll see was made in Israel. We we were in Israel last month, and we our first four showings was taking it home to Israel. So we were down in the Negev desert with people who were involved in making the film there. We were in Jerusalem, again, with people who were involved in making the film there, and then up in the Galilee. And you'll see all of those. This picture is on the shores of the Galilee. Um, so we've taken it home there first. <coughs> then we've taken it up to Iona, because again, in the, in the film, you'll see people from the Linders Farm community. You'll probably spot the difference between Israel and Scotland. Um, <laughs> And then a couple of weeks ago we showed it in Oswaldswistle, which many of you will know is the centre of the film universe, but it's also where our camera guys, Sparks and Cox, have their studio and we showed it there. So this is event number seven, and then next month me and Nick are taking it on the road and we've got an invite, we're taking it down to <coughs> Windsor. I'm not hinting that the Queen's going to see it, because I don't think she is. But, um, Basically, we've been bringing it home, the baby. What do you do when you see a new baby? Um, yeah, there's all of those, exactly, there's all that uh, are. And my, my thought is straight away, you don't need to tell us this is a beautiful baby because it is a beautiful baby. The images in it, the songs are beautiful. And I know, of course, you, know, you have to be um, subtle if the baby isn't quite as beautiful. And you don't say something like, doesn't he look like his dad? or something like that. But what we want you to do is give it, we do want feedback, we want to know what you think. Um, and we want to know what the, the film has made you think, because that's kind of why we've made it. Apart, to, apart from showing you what we've been up to for quite a few years, we want to know what it makes you think about. And um, there's a whole sequence in the film that's shot in the Negev Desert in the wilderness of Zin. And the people of Israel wandered through there and they found this very strange flaky stuff on the ground, which we now call manna, um, and they ate it. It was a very versatile food stuff. But I'm not sure how many people know what manna means, what the words actually mean. And what, what those words, or what that word manna actually means, it doesn't mean bread or really good grub or anything like that. It actually means, what is it? Because that was their reaction when they saw this stuff on the ground. What is it? So in a sense, you, know, you can tell us the film's beautiful, you can tell us that kind of thing that you do with a Coochie Coo baby, but what we'd actually like you to do is think about what is it? Now, the people of Israel, when they wandered through the desert, they kept calling it, what is it, manna, and it turned out it sustained them for, for years, uh, 40 years in the wilderness, and we now call it bread of heaven, or manna from heaven. But, you know, the starting point is, what is it? So, 
<coughs> Maybe that's a good start point for you and the film. What is it? What's going on? What's it about? What does that mean? Etc. Etc. I've probably said more than enough, so I'm going to stop um, and I'm going to introduce Nick, who's the real creator behind the ink. A lot of us in this room are included with the other people who are musicians or in the film that have helped in different ways. Um, but Nick is the brakes here behind the ink. So without further ado, please welcome Nick Brakespeare. Thank you, David. Evening all. Evening. Um, just to uh, qualify something uh, that uh, Dave was leading up to was uh, what you're about to 